All right, boundaries. Now, boundaries are kind of like weak by rails in the fact that if I have a curve, and this time I'm going to use cubics for an example here. Okay, let's say I first create a curve. Okay, and then I create a curve that has hmm, maybe a linear. So go back to linear. Okay, and I'll go back and do another linear. So G on the keyboard, X, and G on the keyboard, X. X, X. Okay, so this is how it works. If I have, let's say, this one out, and this is the shape I want, this first step is click these in counterclockwise order. Okay, so I'll hold shift, just like that. And then you can go into surfaces, boundary, and I'll use the following quads count 100 hit apply. In this case it made a very interesting part in the fact that it has you know some really nice curves that go across here. And this is great for making abstract shapes like if I needed this it would take me all day to produce that shape out of a box sometimes. But in this case you know all I do now is have to go in here to polygons and extrude this Extrude it with a blue arrow. And maybe I'll just insert an edge loop here and here. Whoops. And if it gets this weird bug here, you have to select all the edges and off click. That's the first time I've seen that happen in Maya 2011, but yeah, it used to be a huge problem in 2010 and 9. So here we go. And the keyboard, look at that. That's a nice shape, right? Yeah. It's all made out of quads and they're all legit too. A little bit of uniformity problem right in this area, but not too bad. So that is the boundary tool and how to use it.